Just today, I think I finally came up with what I'm going to call the ideal fluid extractor when working around these old cars. You may think, well, why would I need a fluid extractor? Well, if you're going to do any of your own service, and remember, your service begins with fluids. Fluids are very critical uh, on these old cars, so if you're going to start out doing your own maintenance, you usually end up doing it with oil changes, brake fluid changes, power steering fluid changes, rear end fluid changes, and so on. So having an extractor really helps. Now I started out in the early days using these <laughs> extractors like this. You know, maybe it was a turkey baster was probably the first thing I used about 20 years ago. And that doesn't have very much volume. And then I got these little suction devices here. And of course, after you got any kind of fluid in, particularly brake fluid, they'd start to fall apart and I'd have to use clamps and so on. So over the last 20 years, I've gone through a a bunch of extractor. And recently I found this extractor which I really like and it's a high volume extractor. You just pull on it, it sucks almost a quart of fluid out. Well the problem with it is this comes with just a big old hose on the end and of course it works great for things like the power steering pump but not so well for the brake master cylinder and certainly not to get into the engine oil or the transmission fluid or the rear end fluid or even a manual transmission under the car. So I came up with a couple of adapters like this. So you can adapt a much smaller hose on the end of this big extractor now. And this is ideal. You can go underneath the car on a manual transmission and pull that side plug and actually get this up in there and extract the fluid out of a manual transmission or extract it out of the rear end using this. Well, then I got playing around some more and I said, well, if I got even a longer tube like this, see that? I can put it down in the pan, pull the dipstick out, look at this. I'm going to suck the engine oil right out of there. <laughs> it's a little thick, but here it comes. Okay, you see that? So, if you're going to do an engine oil change with one of these extractors, you need to make sure the engine oil is warm. And you can do the same thing with the transmission fluid. Pull the transmission fluid dipstick out of here and put that long tube in there and suck transmission fluid out. Now I know some of you are going to say, well why would I ever want to suck oil out if I don't want to do an oil change with this? And certainly, you know, why would I want to suck out transmission fluid? <laughs> well how many of us, and me included, have not overfilled either the engine oil pan or more specifically the transmission. We've overfilled it with fluid and then you're sitting there going, oh no, what do I do? You want to get underneath the car and pull that little pan plug? <laughs> and some of those old transmissions don't even have a pan plug. So if you overfill the transmission, you got a big problem because you do not want to drive the engine with the engine over full of oil and you don't want to drive the car with the transmission over full. It's not healthy for either one. So this extractor not only lets you pull old fluid out of the, the power steering pump reservoir, the brake master cylinder, but if you happen to overfill now your transmission or your engine with fluid, you can now use this extractor to pull the excess out, okay? So using these three different attachments, which I include with this super heavy duty extractor, can get most of the fluid out when you need it out in record time.